March 9th, new at 6. Anyone can tell you who invented the light bulb, Edison? but history kicked Thomas Edison's rival, Nikola Tesla, to the curb. Never heard of him. He invented a lot, but I don't really know what it was. Car, the engine, but for the Tesla motor on the electric car, most people are in the dark. Jane Alcorn's changing that. The driving force behind the international effort to save Morton Cliff. Tesla's 1901 lab in Shoreham, where the visionary genius sought to change the world. When you flick on your lights, it's because Nikola Tesla developed the system by which we transmit electricity. Speedometer, tachometer, early x-rays, neon, robotics, remote control, uh, microwave oven. His AC power supplied electricity all over the globe. Convinced he could also spread electricity wirelessly, he built this 18-story transmission tower. But money ran out. With no financial incentive for free energy, Tesla died penniless. Its footprint remains, and soon this decaying site will rise again. This is a lot bigger than just Long Island. It's our responsibility to preserve the site for the world. The Tesla Science Center is weeks from construction after online crowdfunding raised nearly a million dollars to buy this land. Last month it was declared a historical site. Now millions more are being raised to build a world-class science research center. A Nikola Tesla Museum, uh, a learning center, uh, an entrepreneurial space to really uh, inspire our population about the importance of innovation in our lives. Filmmaker Joseph Sikorsky says this place matters. He wanted to send free wireless energy to the whole world, and the tower is no longer there to do that. Is a symbol of uniting the world, but also a symbol of where the world went wrong. What he provided for humanity, uh, we can't help but preserve this. The Welcome Center could open by year's end. The Lab Museum within three years. The goal here, not only to preserve the past, but like Tesla, to look to the future. In Shoreham, Long Island, Carolyn Gussel, CBS 2 News. And Carolyn tells us that the museum also received a $1 million donation from the inventor and owner of Tesla Motors, Elon Musk.